certain other areas but particularly popular in that area and I'm going to give it a twist what we would require is a ground idli mix uh, I'm taking blanched spinach or palak about eight to nine green chilies pre-soaked chana dal onions curry leaves and coriander leaves jeera and mustard seeds. What I'm going to do is take the mix seed, put the blanched spinach or palak into it, and about eight to ten green chilies. The reason I'm adding a fair amount of green chilies is because uh, that's going to be the sole spice in a steamed or in a cooked uh, idli batter. So you will need some amount of spice in it. I'm going to pulse this. Meanwhile, the oil is heated. It's going to be a liberal helping of jeera. Mustard seeds. Now take this mix of spinach with the green chilies and add it to this idli dough. The amount of idli dough would be approximately the amount of dough that you would require for about maybe six idlis. see the mix turning uh, from complete white to a greenish white 
thanks to the mix of green chilies and spinach. To get it the required amount of fluff when you going to use it further, take about half a teaspoon of you know salt beat the mixture well now you see that there's also some additional foam that it gets thanks to the any salt that I've added to it. Now add cut chopped onions. I've taken about one onion. I'm going to add coriander to it. And the tadka which had cumin seeds, mustard seeds, hing and curry leaves. To save on time, I have uh, added oil to this. I'm getting the oil to heat. Take small portions. Ensure that it is about three fourths of the compartments into which you are pouring this liquid. segments, compartment, whatever you would like to call it. This mixture will cook in the oil for a few minutes. You would notice that one of them is already dead, thanks to Datu, because uh, I was not very confident that I can do it. So he told me how simple it was, and that's what I'm now doing. Turning them from one side and putting it to the other. He did it with greater ease than I'm able to. The smaller the size, it's obvious it's easier to change size. It took me about six minutes for this cook to happen. So about five to six minutes is the time when it changes its color and you can change the side. The upper portion took about, the lower portion took about six minutes. I think uh, it will take about roughly half the time now. So in another three minutes, this should be done. Time for me to do a few acknowledgements before uh, I sign off with uh, the presentation at a later point in time. Uh, I think uh, by oversight I've been forgetting to mention uh, uh, Narendra who's been of great help every day. Uh, I've somehow uh, skipped him from my uh, list of ac acknowledgements. Thank you Narendra. Thanks of course to Datu who's the director cameraman. 
uh, tough task master. Thanks also to Ritika to getting the dough ready, uh, getting all the ingredients in place and thanks to my uh, editor, crucially, Abhina. Thanks once again, Dattu, Narendra, Ritika and Abhina. Let's wait for another two minutes for the presentation. So the Gunta Paganavu with a shift or a change or a twist is we've added a lot of palak and green chilies to it. Uh, it goes well with the traditional groundnut chutney. It's also dressed uh, with onions and carrot. Thanks again for Datu for doing the presentation. Uh, before I sign off once again, uh, may I request all of you to please watch the site as often as you can. Give us your comments and your feedback. Thanks to Narendra, Ritika, Abhinav and Dabu. Goodbye. See you again.